Yeah, hello, <clears throat> hello, and welcome to this video, which is something that I have not done for quite a while. It's a book review, and um, essentially, it's um, a book in a different format. It's not a classical book on paper, even though you can buy that book as a, a traditional paper book. I want to especially review a new version of the book. And the book is, and you already see it because I have it on the right hand side here on the screen, Jesus de Avia's 100 Endgames You Must Know. This is um, basically the endgame book that I recommend to absolutely all of my students, basically regardless of their playing strength. It's something that absolutely every chess player should I mean, maybe not Magnus, but now <laughs> at this current level, but every chess player should should get go through and um, yeah benefit from those basic endgame knowledge. So what uh, Didavia has done is he selected exactly one hundred endgames that he thinks um, yeah that, that they are essential for you as a player. It's a very practical selection. There's nothing obscure in there that you will never get on the board, but rather the things that actually matter in practical play. Now, after um, and this book is, I think, out for more than 10 years, uh, after this, um, this time, now it is available on Chessable. And I have to say that I'm absolutely um, thrilled to show it how it works on that learning platform because it's really, really, really great. Let's have a look how this works. The thing is, if you have a traditional paper book, um, I mean, I always tell my students, you know, here, there are 100 end games and you can easily make a program for yourself out of that. Yeah, just like every single week, take two positions, learn them. After one year, your endgame knowledge for basic endgames then would be fantastic. I mean, really fantastic if you learn them. Not just like look at the book and say, oh, that's good, and then put it away, but really yeah, actively study them. And on Chessable, you have this, let's um, go right in there. On Chessable, you actually um, yeah, learn it for real every single position yeah and the the software asks you the website uh, is asking you uh, those questions what is your move and you either got it right or you don't and it uh, yeah is a fantastic uh, way of tracking your progress you make sure that you absolutely see every single position and every single critical situation where you need some knowledge so i want to show right from the beginning, how that works on the Chessable platform. So what I did is, um, I before I started the video, I looked through it a little bit, but then I completely reset my progress. So I'm starting very basically, but it doesn't matter. It just um, I just want to show you how it works. So this won't be exactly challenging, but that's not the point. I want to show how it does work here on that platform. So um, yeah, it starts with basic endings. Um, yeah, king and pawn, very simple stuff. You can you you can read the same text as it is in the book, and you are guided here. Yeah, okay. Now, so we 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 done reading, and now it guides you through the through the positions. Again, this is not yet part of the one hundred but rather an intro section, like, okay, this is uh, even more basic than the 100, yeah? And it starts with um, very simple things like this. Can the pawn promote without the aid of the king? Yeah, everybody knows uh, the rule of the square, basically. Yeah, and um, okay, yeah? we are playing white. What should we do? A4. After the pawn advances, we draw an imaginary square that reaches the eighth rank. In this example, the vertices of the square are, yeah, a4 to e, uh, a, a4 to a8 does this way to e8 to e4. And now, uh, what should what should we play? Okay, we go a4, and we earn ten points. And it shows the square. This is really nice. Yeah, there's a uh, some assistance there. 
yeah, black goes king f7, trying to catch it. And the text you can read on the left hand side. And then oh, what should we do? It, it, had, it, it, it was shown before, so we have to push the pawn. Yeah, and we see that we simply push the pawn to promotion. Mm. Queen, queen is correct. Yeah, and now it you get asked the whole sequence again. Of course, here it is extremely basic, but you get the idea. Yeah? You have to really understand it move by move and go through it. Okay. Okay, so learn next. Let's go learn next. Aha. Uh -huh. The black king has clearly reached the square. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, with the b pawn, we, we go with the b pawn here. And oops, <laughs> the black king is definitely um, reaching the promotion square. Uh, the pawn can promote only with the aid of the king. The easiest way is for blocking the enemy king's way. Yeah, and uh, you can read the text. And the move is king to c7, followed by preventing uh, king c8, followed by king b8. So the king is blocking the black king's um, yeah, path to the promotion square. So we now have to remember it was king c7. Otherwise, black gets king b8. So we're going to do that. And after king e6, we already have controlled every square we need and the b pawn can be pushed. Yeah, this is also what's in the text here and okay we go b4 okay b5 and now again now we push uh before was wrong <laughs> i didn't pay attention <laughs> i mean okay it, it actually does win as well but this is the more consistent way and now we just going to do it and promote it I made a mistake though, yeah. You, you saw, <laughs> I, I, I was too quick there. Okay, so let's go next one. What is the next one? Ah, yeah. Now we, we it's about the opposition. You see, very basic, but I mean, yeah. There might be people around who don't know it, and it's easy to do. You can also skip that yeah? if you want to. When you, when you say, okay, the intro, this is I know, then you just go um, and start with the next chapter. Um, yeah, again, you have the you have the text, and here we go f seven. Okay, and then king g seven to promote the pawn. So f seven, king g seven to promote it. Yep, and we've earned points. Next one. Oh, and yeah, now we see we have the colors where we are playing black. Um, and again, you can read the text. Okay, yeah, black has to go king g8, getting the opposition. And after f7, king f8. Yep, we have to stop the pawn, of course. Um, playing black, oh, yeah, again, okay. And we learned the opposition with the pawn on the sixth rank. Okay, learn next. <laughs> yeah, pawn is on the sixth rank. What what do we have here? King a6. Yeah, we need to get the opposition. So king a6. And yeah, king b6. So c7 is correct. And here the pawn will promote next. Again, we do the whole sequence. And done. Okay, so I've gone through a couple of, um, of examples. And now we can have a look at the, the books. I oh, know, actually not there, I'm sorry. I should uh, do it differently. And uh, it's here, right? Yeah, so we have the basic endings, then we have a test for the basic endings. And then we have a couple of, a couple of um, chapters 
that comprise the 100 endings. So if we actually go, um, let's say queen with this pawn, I'm just going there. And this is ending 16, number 16. And um, can we do that? We can jump right in there, right? Queen with this pawn, okay. Okay, so we can, I don't want to read out the whole text, but there's always an, a text to explain what's going on. And then our move is queen f4, the queen approaches the pawn, okay. In fact, in this position, um, then basically every move would win. You cannot spoil it, but this is the, the right way to do it. Yeah, queen g3 to force the king back. Queen f3. So that the king has to go in front of the pawn and this is always the key idea the moment the king has to stop his own pawn or hamper his own pawn we actually advance with the king i think just for trying out i mean every king move here would make sense king f7 is just as good yeah try again or it's an alternative so it is not terrible or this yeah only king g7 is, is giving you the 10 points, but it shows that when there's alternative, that, it, it, that what you did is really just as good. Okay, um, so here, yeah, we, this is uh, making a lot of sense. King goes back, and with the check, we force into g1 again, and again, king g6, the other moves would be alternatives. Uh, yeah, that's a check. We approach this again. And the king comes closer. Uh, this actually... Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's made, yeah. <laughs> Not necessary, but it's funny, yeah, to, to have the have the mate <laughs> here with with the queen. I know we have to do the whole procedure. Oh, I'm now I'm probably failing. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it right. There are there's more than one way obviously to do it, but this is probably really the quickest. Um, check. Oh, damn. This is extremely quick because we have the mate there. Yeah, very nice. Again, oh, that's a lot. I don't know why I'd have to do it again. There are some uh, some settings in play that maybe you can change that you don't have to do it again. It actually, I think, makes some sense to repeat it so so it really gets second nature what you do there yeah and mate at the end so very nice let's do one thing though I do learn next and I want to show you something um yeah this is the the H pawn okay we we are we are white here right King G8 Going for promotion. Yeah, and now the thing is that King H8 is uh, doing doing stalemate. I want to do one thing. King H8 is of course very obvious because we have to keep the pawn. Also, I just want to make a mistake to show you how that works. So incorrect. Book moves King H8. Okay, so um, no. I'm just going to make make mistakes now, right? Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so mm. yeah, where do I go then? Here. Okay. Incorrect. Yeah. I'm okay. This is very stupid what I'm doing. I just want to show what happens if you if you're really not getting it right. <laughs> okay. I, 
I've made a couple of mistakes though, right? So if I, um, I go back, um, let's do, where's the review? Uh, I'm not really, I wanted to go to review, right? Where's the review? Ah, here's the review. Um, here. Where was the review to show to to go to the mistakes? Ah, spaced repetition. Okay. Didn't want to do that. Mm, yeah, you can actually. It will. It will ask you um, again and again if you make make mistakes. I'm just not finding the menu. <laughs> um, it was that one. Uh, we looked at that. Uh, there are some informational ones. Yeah. What I was trying to say is, it will definitely it will ask you again if you make make mistakes in a, in a certain in a certain position. It will definitely bring this up again. Do I need to go over study? No, nothing to study. Is that the one that I screwed up? <laughs> that was the one that I screwed up. No. It will, um, again, it will ask you again, if you have a mistake there that you continuously make. What's really great is, if we go back, that here with the, here with the symbol of that um, that, that green uh, bar, you see how much you have studied. So if you get to the point that you have everything green, then you really know, I've looked at everything. This is really, really great. Um, and um, again, if you make mistakes, it will ask you, you are next due here for spaced repetition. This is something new. Yeah? <laughs> I don't look at the platform like on a daily basis, but they continuously add new features. Um, yeah, I think um, it's clear what it is doing. It's showing you everything like, um, yeah, again and again. What about rook plus pawn versus rook? Is that something that we can look at? Oh, with affiliate opposition. Yeah, this is number 52, yeah. <laughs> if I say learn next, does it uh, go with the affiliate opposition? Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, we are, we are playing black. Okay. And we go into the sixth rank mm -hmm. yeah and there are a couple of uh, a couple of texts to to illustrate so okay uh, okay that was this one right e6 yeah and the moment the pawn pushes we go back onto the first rank if you go here for example it's also a draw here and it should say alternative mm -hmm. yeah so it is not entirely wrong it is just not as correct. Nah, as correct. It is also correct. It's just not the single move that the um, the side wants to have. And it's usually there is some point behind it. For example, like here, it is usually correct to go as far as possible. Here, it is really doesn't matter. But usually, if you want to, let's say, give checks from the back, you go into the first rank because it just. Um, usually the more comfortable way of doing it what the friggin heck <laughs> ah yeah um so um this is how it is done and now we have all the checks checks from the back of course yeah so the filled opposition you maybe know if not this is the book for you um, I think it's excellent value. Um, I actually, I have one uh, quit study mode. Yeah, uh, as I owned the book, it was um, given to me to to do the review. Um, the um, I don't actually know the selling part, the price. <laughs> um, I have no idea. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I can find it out if I actually log out. Yeah, probably. 
I, sh I probably can find it out. Oh, it's fourteen ninety nine. It's currently still on a sale. So this is actually really, really worth it. The the actual paper book, I think, is more expensive. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm almost sure. Let me just check it briefly to, to see. Oh, it's 22.95 in euros. Wow, okay. Yeah, so this is an actually this is a seal really fifteen fifteen yeah, um, and um, yeah don't underestimate um, how much actual value that has. I mean, it is uh, those one hundred endings. If you really know all of them, I can log in again. Um, if you really know all the the one hundred, yeah, you're really 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 good at basic endings. I mean. Fantastically good, um, better than me probably. <laughs> I don't think I know all all hundred. Yeah, that's uh, actually uh, very very likely that uh, I'm I'm below below that one hundred. Yeah, I've studied some basic endings of course, but some are um, some are I think um, some I don't know as detailed as they are described in the book. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review, this overview of the 100 endgames you must know. Um, I mean, as I said, I recommend this to all of my students and now uh, I would definitely recommend, um, yeah, I would recommend them to get the chessable version. I think it's, it's just better, yeah, for, for learning it. Yeah, Of course, I mean, if you are a fan of paper books, this is an option, but it's 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 more expensive, and I think in order to really ensure that you learn everything, the the platform here is um, is really really great. Um, also, uh, I can add that I'm also working on new chessable content, on opening things. Uh, I'm aiming for release in the next two months, so. Um, can look look forward to that as well. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the overview of the 100 end games you must know. Um, make sure to um, to um, to check. I don't know how long the sale is on. Let me let me check that because this is really a steal. Yeah, if you can get it um, for for 14.99, uh, July 26. So it's still for for three days. Uh, you still can get it. In a, uh, can can get it cheaper, yeah. Yeah. Again, my my um, full recommendation for this product. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. I'll be back uh, soonish with the uh, live shows and so on. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.